So I wanted to create a quick video showing the results of using a model from Plasticity and importing it into Blender and using the quad remesher to remesh it and convert it to all quads. So here we have a mesh and here is the conversion. What I have found is that if we have hard edges, it tends to work better than if we use softer edges. So if I come over here, we have soft edges on this example and we are using, we are using ingons in this case. But uh, this particular shape worked pretty well, but you'll notice that here we've, we've got some issues. So it's not 100% perfect and we definitely have artifacts here. So one thing I will note is that when the shape is uniform and we have hard edges, so for example, we can look at this one versus this one, we can see that it converted quite well. I couldn't really get the top to work 100%. Some of these indents work well and then some of them have issues and uh and problems and i'm not i'm not exactly sure why that is hopefully i can discover some workarounds i even tried separating this piece out and even this piece i noticed had some had some issues it wasn't a hundred percent so mm, i'm not sure exactly how to fix this uh hopefully i will sorry my mouse is acting up i'm gonna probably have to replace it so I guess it's a little bit hit and miss again for shapes that are pretty uniform. I think this looks great, but then for other shapes when we have something that's a little bit more unusual, it doesn't seem to work as well. Even with the smoothed mesh here, yeah, just we have kind of weird, a weird shape going on. So not exactly sure how to fix that. Obviously it really doesn't matter if we're in a situation that we don't need all quads but let's say if we wanted to do some deformations or even make this part of maybe a robot character we, we might want all of those quads so we might have to do a mix of manual work combined with the quad remesher all right well that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you like this video please consider subscribing liking this video sharing this video with friends and hitting the notification bell to stay up to date.